He's on it. Yep. First fish. Oh, I feel the one right there. Super blue tail. Oh, it's Greg. Whoa, whoa, what's going on, man? Oh, God. Come on. What is going on, everybody? Uh, hopefully coming back at you with a video today. Sorry about the sun right there in the background. Uh, it's quite windy today. It's uh, blowing, I think it's supposed to be blowing 15 to 20 pretty much the entire day I'm out here. Um, but it's Friday and it's my day to fish. So here I am, I'm gonna fish it. Uh, and we're gonna be up in some saltwater creeks today, chasing some reds, trout, black drum, flounder maybe. Um, I'm in a spot where I've had uh, quite a bit of success with that. I uh, got some live shrimp uh, on my way over here at the bait shop. Uh, I'm gonna be throwing around a lot of artificials uh, and we're gonna just see what we can do. Hopefully we can get after some. Like I said, it is, it is super windy. Got the kayak right there. You can see we're back here in the creeks and you can already see all the wind that's blowing across the water. But it is what it is. Uh, we're gonna make it happen. We're gonna work hard, get it done. So we'll see you when we get out there. All right, y'all, we are underway. And again, I'm just gonna go ahead and apologize about the noise, the wind noise today, because um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be like this all day long. And there's really not a whole lot we can do. It's just is what it is. I'll try to take as much, oop, gosh, better not do that. I'll be throwing my tackle box over there. And I'll try to take as much as I can out in the editing process. But uh, at the end of the day, it's still gonna be a little broken. <sighs> but we're gonna give it a shot today out here. Got a beautiful sunrise, I will say that. Not a cloud in the sky. Just gorgeous sky. <sighs> Only if the wind matched <laughs> the sky. Um, so uh, tide and conditions today. Again, it's windy, but uh, we have an outgoing tide till about 11.30 where I'm at right now, over here at Shired Island um, on the Gulf of Mexico. Outgoing tide till about 11.30 and then it's supposed to shift, come in. And so what I wanna do for this little, first little bit of the tide, there's a good cut right along this weed line on that side of it and it runs good little ways. And so I'm gonna go start out, fish that cut over there and um, see if I can pick up something. There's a, there's a pretty good hole in there as well. See if maybe there's a black drum sitting in there, or a big redfish. Uh, and then I'm gonna work my way out that way towards the Gulf, cause there's definitely some holes that I wanna hit. Caught a lot of fish over there before. And then later, I think what, as the tide gets super low and it starts go incoming, we'll work our way that way towards some creeks back there to see what we can pull out on the lower side of the tide. But uh, let's shoot over here. Let's get after it, y'all. So I got this gulp shrimp right here, uh, quarter ounce jig head tied, or eighth ounce jig head tied to a loop knot. Um, this is just my go-to bait kind of out here. Uh, I would love to have thrown some top water, but it is just a bit too rough to be able to even see kind of the top water action. And quite honestly, I've never had a ton of success out here with top water. So we're gonna go with this. Um, but like I said, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get over here to this edge, probably park up. We'll make casts with this and I'm gonna throw out that live shrimp on my other rod that I've got. back there oh man look at all that oh my gosh you see all that bait right there just went nuts come on gotta be a trout or something in there oh there we go there we go there's a bite uh. oh he's on it yep first fish and it is a ladyfish? Wow. Poor man surfing. I think I am recording. Well, there we went. Yes. All right, well, first fish was a ladyfish. I didn't put my hands on it. That's a good thing. <laughs> but, uh, all right, that's action, at least. We'll take it, we'll take it. 
something. Looks like I got another ladyfish. Yep, that's exactly what it was. Golly, man, he hit it hard though. That was cool. Let's see if we can't get one. It's right in the glare. Uh, that one I just tossed to the blind cast. Uh, Cause again, that oyster bar and that sandbar runs us. Oh, I feel the one right there. Yep, he's got it. Ooh. There we go. Got a fish. This one's staying down though. Might not be a lady. Oh no, it's not a lady. Looks like a flounder or a trout. Ooh, holy crap. If I would have saw that, I would not have, <laughs> I would not have just uh, <laughs> yeeted that thing over the side. He might be a keeper right there. That's a good sized trout. He's fat, man. Hey bud, hold on, quit. Get your hands wet. Always when you touch the trout, make sure it helps keep some of the slime on them. But man, what a beauty of a fish right here. Y'all, that's gonna be a little bit of a mess, but it is what it is. Let's put this guy. I don't wanna leave that hanging over the side because one will grab it and rip the rod out of the but man, look at how pretty that fish is. I don't know, I don't think he's gonna be a keeper. I guess I would say probably 14. Yep, 14 and a half looks like. Still beautiful fish right here. We're gonna try to get a, a picture of it. If he'll stay still for me. Uh, you gotta love the golden hour fishing. Man, it's still sunrise over here. We can get this guy back. Beautiful. <laughs> All right, awesome. All right, y'all. So it is really, really pretty out here. And I just could not resist but to tie on some top water just for a little bit at least. Since we have like some smooth water through here and there's lots of oyster bars to cast over and go over the top of. So I just want to try something, you know. <clears throat> there's not a whole lot that's more exciting than just a good top water bite sometimes. All right, we're gonna make one more cast with this. I've made, I don't know. 20, 25 casts over here with this top water. I haven't had any action, any blow ups or anything. I've cast it all the way up here around both sides of the oyster bar. A couple back here, but I don't want to get too close to this line, but we're going to try to make one somewhat close to that line back there. Good long cast. All right, we uh, pulled anchor. We have switched out to the uh, shrimp again. So you guys can see there, the gulp shrimp. So we're gonna shoot across to some oyster bars across over there. We'll make a couple more casts right here where we caught uh, a couple of those fish earlier. Just to see if there's anything hanging out on the back side of this bar. But we're gonna shoot over there and then we're gonna make our way out over here to the right. So if, if I catch anything, you'll see it. If not, I'll see you when we get out there. This wind is kicking, y'all. <laughs> Kicking like crazy. I know it's super probably loud in the camera, but I want to get up to about where that grass line is up there. Maybe a little bit before it and start working a hole. Hey, 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 back off. That barb right there, y'all can see that. I'm gonna try to slip this guy between my paddle. Yak. There we go. There we go. All right, we figured it out. Oh, we just hooked up right here. Cast the shrimp right on this edge. It seems like a decent fish. This Oh, gosh, I'm gonna turn. Ah, here. It's a red, all right, it's a red. Something, yeah, it's a nice little red. Nice color to him. I don't know if he's gonna be big enough, but it is a red. He's got a super blue tail on him. Oh, awesome. Let's uh, see if we can't get up here. Beautiful little red. Look at that tail right there, though, man. Super blue. <sighs> clear it was working super blue tail awesome uh, little guy we'll get him on the bump board just to see I think he's probably like 16 maybe 15, 16. 
15. Yeah, he, he would be 15 if I laid him out. Still a cool fish. We're going to get a quick picture. And then we will see if we can't get another one. Alright. Uh, I wanted... I forgot all my uh, popping corks at the house. But look, y'all. There is one right here. So we're gonna try to snag this guy. If we can, and we can. All right, we're gonna rip on off of there. I don't wanna get any uh, motor. All right, nice little popping court. We may put this on with a live shrimp here in a minute we got this popping court now tied up on the uh shimano zeris and we got it about i don't know a foot and a half to two feet down with some split shots and then we got another foot maybe foot and a half to the hook and we're gonna put a live shrimp on this guy and pop it around um from here on out because we got probably maybe an hour left to fish it's all live bait y'all it's all these live shrimp that I've got that I need to use. So that's what we're going to do. Try to do our best. We are going to continue to fish down some of these creeks right here. Um, to cast them with a jig head and a live shrimp as well. So try to double our chances and, and not make a mess. <laughs> oh, dude. Oh, I just had a bite right there. Dang. Somebody's calling me. At the same time. Oh, it's Greg. Whoa, whoa what's going on, man? Oh. Dude, I just got a hit. Oh, goodness. It's a good one, too. I don't know what it is. Oh. What's going on? Dude, oh, yeah. I'm trying not to drop the phone in the water. Hold on one second. <laughs> Y'all, I got Greg King just called me, and I just got smoked on the popping court. Oh, please be a red or something good. He's fighting like a red, man. He's fighting hard. Oh, dude, this is a nice red, too. Oh, my gosh. Dude, I've been fishing all day, and I've caught, like, three fish. One was a stingray. One was a ladyfish. Dude, this is a, this is a nice red. Oh, yep. You did, man. Hold on one second. Oh gosh, come on. No, I just, I just netted him. <laughs> oh man, hold on one second. I'll put you on FaceTime if you're good with that. Oh, dude, <laughs> I've been fishing. I've been fishing all day long, man. Oh, this is a nice, probably mid slot, 22 or so. I'm a, I'm over on the west coast. Um, oop, sorry. Uh, at Shired Island. Okay. Over here, and like just south of Swanee. Just wanted to do something different, man. Yeah. But. Yep, I get it. Well, I'm, I'm headed out now myself. I'm going out this uh, this afternoon evening doing some fishing. I'm headed down now, so. Uh... Well, Joe, congrats on your fish. I guess so. I gotta be the 22 inch redfish. Are you telling me? <laughs> yeah, I'll send you a picture here in a minute. Oh, gosh. <laughs> he just oh, oh. he's jumped into the net. You're good. Right, you. Hey, we'll see you, Greg. Hi, right, man. Thanks for the shoot. Yeah. Well, that was. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> that was interesting. Right there, man. Oh, my goodness. Um. Oh, I had a, a bite on the uh, on, my, on my rod that was in my hand at the same time that somebody was calling me and I was kind of frustrated because uh, I just haven't caught any fish. I saw it was Greg, went and answered and all of a sudden I heard the broad in the back screaming. I hope I'm recording. Yes, I am. Awesome, but man, this is a beautiful looking redfish right here. Oh my gosh. And hey, I just put that popping cork on um, and y'all, oh gosh, y'all saw that and so this is the result right here. Man, look at that guy. Beautiful. Look how dark he is, man. I bet he's probably 21. 
22, somewhere in that range. Um, it's the first time I'm having to extend my board out since I've got this board. Um, right there. Right. Oh, come on. Don't be dumb. Right there. All right. Let's see what we got here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, you. You're not going anywhere but home. So yeah, he's 21. Y'all see that right there? Almost 21 on the dot. Awesome. Awesome fish. Which means this guy is going home for dinner. Nothing special about him except that he has been the fish that we've been grinding all day for. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at this color on him. Nice copper color. We're gonna get some pictures of this guy. Probably have to do some 4K while we're at it because we haven't had a chance to do much of that today. So let's get some pictures real quick. Man, look at the color on this fish right here, man. Super, just bronze, beautiful, beautiful bronze. And look at that tail, man, blue tail. He's got a little few scars on there and stuff, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome. Appreciate it, Greg. <laughs> We're gonna get you bled out. We've been working too hard, too long for you to let something else happen. So we're gonna get you bled out and you're gonna go in the box because you're gonna be dinner and it's gonna be oh so good. Oh, there, oh gosh. We just hit that artery. Absolutely sure we hit it that time. Man, it started gushing, crazy gushing, which is great. That's what you wanna see. All right, let's get him right there. A little bit of blood going. That's what you want. Get them all bled out. Makes it taste better. Preserves the meat better. All right, let's get him. Oh gosh, I got stuff. Line catching me somewhere. We got the salt water brine ready. It's been sitting there all day. Got the second lucky banana. But let's get that girl. Man, look at how much she is bleeding. That is awesome. That's what we want. That's what we want to see. Just gave me life, y'all. Just gave me life. Oh. Oh. I just got it. Oh, there we go. Oh, I hope I'm still recording. Oh. Feels like a trout. Come on. Be a decent trout or... Is another red? Hey, how about it? Oh. All right. A little... A little red. Oh. I hope I'm recording. Yes. Awesome. All right. Another one on. Oh, 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 hey, 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 hey. you. I'm going to let you go, man. You're pretty. I'm going to let you go. She's just on the popping court. Chill out. Chill out. Dude, that's a super pretty fish. Like, perfect. Um, and I love the orange color to their fins. Your bronze orange you can see right there we're gonna try to get another picture unless this guy goes nuts again in which case we won't get a picture but hopefully we can because he is just too pretty here we go Woo. yeah he was ready awesome man the popping court <laughs> finding the popping court it's, it's saved the day so far All right just wrapped it up y'all um getting back out on the road <clears throat> heading to uh, my nephew's baseball game supposed to start at four o'clock I'll probably be a little bit late but it's fine uh, so hope hope Brady does well tonight Brady boy uh, but anyway it's kind of a slow day uh, didn't didn't tear him up but man we caught some and it was fun that wind was brutal and uh, it, it was tough fishing for a long time without any bites without any action but the end it paid off got very fortunate to find that popping court uh and put that thing on and as soon as i did i caught two uh reds off of it thank you so much for watching if you're still watching up to this point you know if you like the content uh please make sure to like that video hit subscribe uh just passed a thousand subscribers this past week which is absolutely wild um <clears throat> so thank you to everybody uh who has subscribed and for watching and uh you know the the season's kind of shifting now um it's been a great sheep's head season that's the one that i love the most 
but now we're moving into the later spring, early summer kind of season. So we're gonna be switching more to targeting uh, redfish and black drum, trout, all that kind of stuff. So there's gonna be some cool ones coming up, I'm sure. Uh, hopefully gonna maybe catch it, some surprise catches in there. I would love, love, love to take my kayak off the beach to target some pompano if I get a good window here in the next couple weeks because they are thick right now on the East Coast. And so that's what I'm hoping for. But anyway, uh, we'll try to get at it and we'll take what the Lord uh, gives us as far as opportunities. But thank you again so much for watching. Until next time, y'all. Peace out.